Welcome to the Boreal Forest. This sublime expanse of billions of conifer trees is the world's largest land biome, covering nearly 10% of all the land on Earth. While the boreal forest may seem indomitable at first glance, climate change is threatening the existence of these snowy trees, with warmer temperatures leading to slower growth, new pests, and more destructive fires. As we slowly cross the 1.5 degree C threshold into a future of unprecedented changes, will the boreal forest continue to stand tall, or will it go up in smoke? Welcome back to another episode of Tipping Points. The boreal forest, also known as the taiga, makes up 30% of the global forest area, spanning across Canada, the US, Norway, Sweden, Finland, China, Russia, and Japan. The trees here, mainly pine, spruce, fir, and larch, have adapted over millions of years to grow in the freezing high latitude environment. Despite months of snowfall, long winter nights, and the occasional permafrost, the boreal trees thrive in a region where few other trees stand a chance. Due to the sheer size of this biome, it stockpiles an insane amount of carbon in tree trunks, roots, soil, and peatlands. Altogether, the boreal forests store over 1700 gigatons of carbon. This makes it one of the largest stocks of carbon on the planet. However, as the climate warms, a host of new mechanisms threaten to release this terrestrial carbon back into the atmosphere. In the last 150 years, the global temperature has increased 1.46 degrees C, seriously disturbing ecosystems like the boreal forest. On top of that, the Arctic is warming faster than the global average. As snow and sea ice melt, the land and sea don't reflect as much sunlight, meaning they warm up faster and faster. This change in sunlight reflection, also known as albedo, is causing the Arctic to warm two to four times faster than the global average. This is causing the boreal forest trees to experience pretty severe temperature stress, seriously harming their ability to photosynthesize. A 2023 study found that even a few minutes above a threshold temperature for boreal trees can permanently damage the proteins used for photosynthesis. And while most other trees can handle a few hours or even days of severe heat, the boreal trees adapted to life in the freezing cold, meaning they have an unusually low tolerance to heat. But that's not all these trees are having to deal with. As the boreal ecosystem warms, new pests can encroach into parts of the forest that were too cold for them in the past. One such pest is the mountain pine beetle, a bark-eating insect native to North America. Under warmer conditions, these beetles not only spread further north, but also reproduce faster, taking over entire swaths of forest. This happened in British Columbia around 1998 and continued until 2015 when there weren't enough trees to support the beetle population. During these 17 years, 18 million hectares of forest were damaged in British Columbia, an area of land larger than all of England. In Russia, the Siberian silk moth is the main pest, taking over millions of hectares of boreal forest in a similar fashion. And as these desiccated, pest-ridden trees make up more and more of the forest, all it takes is one unlucky bolt of lightning to make it all go up in flames. The combination of heat stress and new pests make the boreal trees extra susceptible to wildfires. In the years after the pine beetle invasion in British Columbia, over 2 million hectares of forest burned in 2017 and 2018, the worst wildfires ever seen in this part of Canada at the time. This was due in no small part to the combination of hotter temperatures and a plague of pests, causing massive amounts of sequestered carbon to go up in smoke. So it's clear that the boreal forest is under a lot of stress as the climate changes. But do we know if this ecosystem has already crossed its tipping point? The sad reality is that for much of the southernmost boreal forest, this tipping point has already been crossed. Earth system models predict that under 1.5 degrees C of warming, the southern boreal forest will begin to die off, getting replaced by more shrub-dominated grasslands. Fortunately for us, this doesn't mean the entire ecosystem has crossed its tipping point. For the coldest parts of the forest, we would need to see 3.5 C of warming before observing the same die-off, and a biome-wide tipping point probably lies closer to 4 degrees C of warming. The takeaway though is that this will not be an all or nothing change, but a slow gradual one as the boreal biome slowly shrinks under a warmer climate. And like everything related to climate change, just because we have crossed a tipping point for some warmer sections of the woods does not mean that we have lost the fight. 
Every degree of warming we mitigate prevents the future destruction of this majestic ecosystem, saving it not just for the enjoyment of our progeny, but for all the ecological and climate stabilizing services the forest quietly provides. Only through aggressive decarbonization and a shift away from exploitative polluting practices can we keep the boreal forest from crossing its tipping point. Thanks for sticking around to the end. As always, all the sources are linked down below. If you learned something from this, enjoyed this, or just want to see more climate science on YouTube, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to support Planet Zero. I will see you next time.